All right, so if you want to engrave on this, uh, what you're going to do, you know, so you're going to create a sketch on the plane. And if you go to create right here and go down, you, it says text, right? So pretty much what you do, you know, you figure out where you want to place it and, and you can move it too. And I'm going to draw like a little text box. And... If you notice over here to your right, it opens up the new window. We'll close this up. Um, and we'll just type in type in cat cam. Cause because we're all crazy about cat cam. <laughs> uh, you know, you and you can change the font. So whatever, uh, which if you're engraving, I would suggest keeping it simple. Uh, you can change the size right here. So default, it's at 0.394. Like if I change this to one inch, notice it gets bigger. Or if I change it to half inch, notice it gets smaller. 0.75 looks good. Um, All right, so I'm going to hit OK. And I can click on this and drag it where I want it to. Uh, you can also dimension it, too. Well... You know, like if I wanted to make it a straight 0.625, oops. You know, I could bring it up. So you can do it that way too. You, you don't have to dimension it. You can just drag and drop it where you want it. Uh, but if you want to get specific, you know, uh, you can you can dimension it. Okay, so that, that's how you make text. So I'm going to save this as... Uh, CAD CAM text uh, engrave. All right, so now if we want to engrave this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to manufacture. And we'll go ahead and make a setup. So, my orientation, I'm going to go off Z and X. This is the top of my part, so I'm going to select the top of my part. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make my stock offset zero for this exercise. Go back to the setup tab, and I'm going to select a box point, you know. So... There we go. So I'm going to place it right there. Alright, so I'm going to hit OK. We'll go ahead and save this. I'm going to name it uh, CAD CAM Engrave. Alright, so if I go to my tool paths here, notice in the bottom I have this engrave, right? So I'm going to click engrave, and the window pops up, so I'm going to select the tool, 
Uh, Garrett likes to use center drills in Grave With, and it, it seems to be working pretty good for him. Uh, now, if you select a center drill in Fusion 360, it won't want to engrave with it, right? So you, you have to lie to the software. Um, or you could just say you're going to use this engrave chamfer tool right here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to make a tool. So, you know, before you make a tool, you always want to select a location to to uh, you know so that the software is going to save that tool too uh, so I, I picked a location and I'm gonna hit this plus sign right here right and I'm gonna use the engraved chamfer mill and he used he likes to use a center drill uh, we'll, we'll just name it five six teams okay now the actual diameter, I'm going to be honest, you can put any diameter you want. It's going to be the same thing. Uh, because the toolpath is generated, you know, the math is based off the center tip of the tool, right? And engraving, you don't usually engrave very deep. Like, we're probably going to engrave, like, 10 thousandths deep. Like, I mean, you just want to go in there and scratch the surface or score the surface, right? So you're not going to engrave very deep. Um... It doesn't really matter what diameter you put. It, it's still the G code is still going to be the same. Uh, so let's see. Like one common size, the center drills is like the five sixteenths. So I'm just going to type in five sixteenths center drill. Even though now I'm I didn't select a center drill, I selected an engraved chamfer mill. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. I mean, we're using a center drill. I really just put this in the description, so when we set up on it, you know, it's, it's kind of a reminder. Hey, we're using a center drill. Uh, but you know, the software it won't let you use a center drill, so uh, we're kind of lying to the software. So right here, diameter. I'm just typing five sixteenths. And hit tab and let it let it update. Uh, cutting data. Go thirty five hundred RPM. Cutting feed rate. Go twenty inches a minute. Ramp. Yeah, twenty. Plunge feed rate. Um, 15 and you can give it a tool number uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept and select that tool that center drill and as you can see my fees and speeds reflect those preset settings that I just uh, uh, input so I'm gonna go to geometry and it wants me to select a contour selection, so I'm going to select the engrave, and you can see how it highlight lights up right there. Depth. I'm going to change each one of these to point 0.1. You don't really have to, I just like doing it. Um, the only thing you really have to do is the bottom height you know you want to you want to tell it how deep you're going so um the bottom height now my computer's slowing down here some um oh let me fix this Okay, so the bottom hive, I'm just going to put it on, uh, I can put it on the absolute, so wherever you set to zero, if you told it to go minus one inch, it would go Z minus one, right? 
Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it up a little bit. In this one, I'm going to say model top, all right? Now, with that said, it would put it on the model top, but the model top, you know, if you actually engraved it, you, you know, you wouldn't do much engraving. So, what I would do is change the offset right here to minus 0.01. And we should be good. I'm going to hit OK. And we'll zoom in and kind of look at this toolpath. Engraving is, I mean, you're pr pretty much getting a 2D contour. It's pretty much the same thing as 2D contour, except it doesn't compensate for the diameter of the tool. And it makes the lead in and lead out. Um, it makes it where the tip doesn't drag across the face. So you don't accidentally um, do some extra engraving as you're leading out <laughs> of the letter, uh, which that will happen in 2D contour. Uh, but engraving is pretty simple. All right, so I'm going to hit save. And I, I don't know, it's kind of a habit for saving these uh, toolpaths, like naming them. Um, it, it's just a good habit to name them. Like, I feel weird if I don't name it. Like, even though there's one, one toolpath there. All right, so I'm going to right-click on the setup. I'm going to post process. You know, so I select the vendor. Um... We'll, we'll say we're running on the Doosan this time, right? So I'm going to go to Doosan, put it on milling, and I only have one post processor for that. Um, and, and there's also a Fanuc uh, post processor as well. Well, yeah, here it is. And I got a couple of options right here. I'll just put it on Fanuc Fanuc. But let's see. Name it engrave, get a number, and we'll hit post process. And we now have our, um, our G code, our program to run run an engraving cycle uh, that's how you do it and here's my g code right here but yeah that's that's how you engrave